Financial markets in the Gulf region have enjoyed strong growth helped by healthy fiscal and current account surpluses. But fiscal positions are now more vulnerable to oil price movements and with a recession looming in Europe, global growth is slowing. Here to discuss prospects for the GCC market is Amar Shatta, Executive Director and CEO of the Saudi-based investment bank Al-Kabir Capital. Al-Kabir Capital is also a new inductee to the World Finance 100 list. Amar, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Global events have shaped the financial industry over the last few years. What particular challenges have you faced in the GCC environment? It's a quite interesting uh, question because from one point it's, it's negative to the GCC that it's depending on oil as the only source uh, of income. Uh, having oil being a commodity, this means that the volatility, volatility is very high and definitely the forecasting of the income for the whole year uh, from a GDP point of view and budgeting is very difficult for the GCC. So as long as the volatility is increasing in oil, the risk of the uh, budgeting is quite uh, serious. On the other hand, it's a good news because we are in a deflationary environment. Uh, many assets in the United States and Europe is taking its role in being adjusted downward. And this is the right time with excess cash available in the GCC to take opportunity from that situation. So given this context, how is Alcabir Capital helping your investors find the right opportunities? Well, we've been very good in forecasting. We always look forward. Uh, definitely the environment we're living in now is a very short environment of forecasting, so it's about six months. What we think in the future is that real asset will play a very important role in investment. So inflation is coming back sometime in the future, and the return on asset is very low. So we look at real assets that bring real cash flow, which is like real estate, private equities, and some equity uh, investment based on fundamental analysis. This is how we uh, do business with our clients. And how would you say your business model sets you apart from your competitors? Our uniqueness is uh, in our people. We're experts in what we do. Uh, we definitely, uh, the major thing, and give us the positive uh, uh, advantage in the market is the fact that we invest with our clients. We always co-invest with them from the beginning to the end and we always look for the exit before the entrance into any deal. This is give us the most, most advantage in the market. Obviously we're very innovative and we know about Sharia to the point that we create our own products and obviously to many banks in the Middle East we create products that they sell under white labeling. So in the specifics, how are you growing your assets under management and what products are you focusing on? We started with uh, a, a single asset that is uh, it's not a blind bull uh, and it was real estate which people of the GCC always interested in. Once we developed the trust then we moved into clubbing, clubbing a deal between real estate uh, investors and land banks and uh, ourselves. Now we're moving into investors, uh, uh, investment where it's a blind bull because the trust is there. Obviously we're doing the same thing with private equity and the same thing with equity uh, investment and commodity. The trust is there now. People understand, or our investor and client understand how we do business and that we really take care of that process through being in the business, investing with them until the end. This is how we do the process and the product itself. You mentioned earlier the opportunities that you're providing for investors. So what type of clients are you trying to attract? What's their profile? It's very interesting profile. 40% uh, of our clients are female. Now this is not unique when you talk about the western side of the, in the west, I mean when you say female, so what? In Saudi Arabia it's a unique issue. If you look at the unemployment rate in Saudi Arabia, it's about 70% of them are female. Having said that, there's a lot of wealth in female sector uh, or the female segment of the society that they need uniqueness in surface and confidentiality in the surface and the specialty of understanding their need. So 40% of our focus is on female. Second focus on family business where second generation and third generation are taking control of the business where they need to be hold, uh, to hold their hand and show them the proper investment and the proper products to invest in. So this is mostly the main two segments that we focus on. And you've mostly focused on the Saudi Arabian market. What are you doing to expand regionally and internationally? We don't look at ourselves as a Saudi company. We look at ourselves as an opportunistic company that will be in the right place, right time. 
we now think that we're investing in the West, especially in Europe and the United States, is an opportunity that shouldn't be missed. So yes, we started with Saudi products because we have the network, we have the con connection, and we have the knowledge of the market. However, we start moving outside of Saudi Arabia. We have just closed the fund, a real estate fund in England, and now we're closing another two fund in the United States in the real estate income funds. So we move as a company and as a team with the opportunities that we find somewhere else. So now we're in Europe and United States area. Amar Shatta, thank you. Thank you.